Let us take a moment to center ourselves by taking in a deep breath. Breathe in peace and breathe out love. Once again, breathe in peace, breathe out love. The clock ticks on the wall, marking off the time, the day. One small, insignificant second at a time. How seemingly valueless those little rhythmic sounds. Most of the time we don't even hear them as the day and life goes by. A series of little, meaningless sounds that beat out the rhythm of our lives. Time is an earthbound gift. Its length of days moves with an age-old flow. It builds mountains and monuments, civilizations and sand, one small second at a time. What would it be like to capture and hold those moments if we could see each one is valuable for a second of life really is golden. When we pause to savor the moment, we are doing just that, slowing the pace of our lives, seeing them as golden, precious, never to return. It doesn't take much to focus on making dinner, a cup of tea, to look at the color of a flower, to inhale a deep breath, to stop and give thanks for the moment, for the day, for life itself. Though there may be many things we want and need, in the sweet spot between the breath and the pause, we are content just to be. Yet all too often we want to speed up time rather than slow it down. And if there is any lesson from the COVID pandemic, it is the realization of how much we have sped up time to escape the moment, how quickly life passes, and how time and life will not return. Years from now, countless numbers of people will look back on this era and declare, even in the midst of it all, there were many special memories made, friendships forged, creative ideas born. People will say it was a wake-up call to our fast-paced and vapid lifestyles. It was a realization of how important our relationships are and the longing for real human touch and communication rather than the electronic voice over the screen. Maybe it is time to take time to listen to the slow, steady beat of the clock rather than curse the darkness begin to look for the light rather than allow the virus to rob us of what we had be grateful for what we have to hear its plaintive voice reminding us time is a precious gift each of us only have so much and no one knows the day or the hour when the clock will cease and our beat will be silent forever.